Here it is, the completed Lego safe. And now it's all locked up. Now, as you can see, this needs to turn upside down so it's like this. And that cannot happen. So, I need a code. Also, I cannot pull this out. It just comes with it. So, I put in the code, which is four, and then as a combination lock works, you pass the second number and go right to it, 22, and then the third number is eight. And now it can go upside down, and I can pull this open to reveal what is inside. $300, a lightsaber, and a rat. Now how it works is kind of simple, but I made it awesome. So I'm gonna need two hands to do this, but I'll try it. This is supposed to open in like a cool way. And I'll put it down. like this of course it fell off um, still needs to have like a few minor things done to it but yeah and then sides can open up so you can see the inside so first when you twist it up like this this is what it goes through. It turns all of them. So you can see that that one, that piece right there, is moving that one only that way. So I can actually turn it back, go that way. But when I go this way, it doesn't. And it's turned all three, and then I can turn this one back. So I can adjust all three. And this one doesn't move because it just swivels in a hole there. So, when you turn it around like this, and you go to the first number, it ends up going like that. And then you turn it past the second number, and then again to the second number, which lines it up like that. And then straight to the last number. And now you can see all those are lined up, and you can slide that through. And then, when this is up, it's blocking that. See, I can't pull that out. So when I put that through, it moves it, and now uh, I can pull it out. So, it's really not that complicated, but, you know, with all that, it is pretty cool, plus the lights. So, uh, yeah, that is the Lego combination safe which hopefully I will renovate so it's more durable and I can shut these. So, any suggestions on what cool thing I should build next? Uh, you can just leave it in the comments and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!